Hi guys and welcome back to yet another Hogwarts Mystery episode. We're gonna do another side quest, quest which is, I don't know, is it called Scary Cats? Well, Hagrid has some troubles with Fang, so we're gonna meet up with him and see what's up with his little doggy. So students have some- oh Ben, you don't look like you're here for breakfast. No, I'm actually not. I got my first pet Ptolemy chocolate for card. Did I pronounce that right? You're looking quite sharp today, Timberly. Oh, thank you very much. Hagrid, what's the emergency? Is Fang alright? Does it look alright here? Wolf? No. No, Fang doesn't look alright. He looks terrified. He sure does. Fang's got a new fear. Cats. It's all Mrs. Snorri's fault. Mrs. Snorri's? What did Phil's cat do to scare your dog? I suppose I will have to tell you about it if you're gonna be able to help Fang. So Mrs. Snorris took a bone from Fang? I didn't even know cats like bones. Yeah. And then Mrs. Snorri hissed that Fang, as if he had swiped her bone. Never had a problem with any cats before, but now Fang scare around all cats. Perhaps Fang just needs some time away from cats. He's invited to her first pet gathering later today. And it's important to Fang that he get out and meet the other pets at all courts. It's important to Fang, or it's it's important to you, Hagrid. Wow. Well, you got me, Timberly. It's important to me. So then this pest gathering the Fang is invited to. Wow. You got me again. I planned it. Fang's the guest of honor. I'm still feeling badly about Fang getting tangled up in the devil's snare. It wasn't your fault, Hagrid. And everything turned out all right. Still, I want to make it up. Uh, make it up to Fang. I was hoping you could help. Of course. What can I do? Oh. Fang needs more training to get over his fear of cats. But I gotta be getting things ready for the gathering later. Alright, but how could I try and Fang to be comfortable around cats? Aha! But you're gonna need a cat, of course. I will leave Fang with Jess so you can get started. Thanks, Timberly. But hey, Reed, wait. Who am I supposed to? Oh, he's so adorable, the little pup. Wolf? <laughs> hey, Timberly. Perhaps I can help. Oh, that will be lovely, Rowan. Very lovely. Buy a cat. Yeah, I already have one. Oh, okay. Pet social social law. Well, then I can name my kitty cat, so we will be ready in time for us to meet. Okay, it's time for us to meet with Rowan. Hagrid's dog looks like he's having a miserable time. I won't be teaching any cats or dogs in flying class. That cat is so cute. Thank you, Penny. I got my beautiful little kitty. Uh, I took the... I bought the <laughs> tuxedo skin because both my cats are black and white. But I didn't name them after one of my cats, actually. <laughs> it's just a whole different name. Thank you for helping me, Rowan. I have no idea how to socialize my cat with Hagrid's dog. It's very important to Hagrid that Fang learn to be comfortable around cats today. No problem, I grew up with a family cat so learning about them became my hobby. Learning about everything is your hobby. But we got the pets out here together, that's a good start. Meow. Meow. I don't even have to say it. But yes, her name is Mirabelle. I think Mirabelle is excited about this introduction. Hmm. I don't know about Fang though. Fang doesn't look quite as excited. Hmm. Let's see what the books I found suggest that we do next to so socialize the pets. So what exactly do we need the books for? Because books make everything better. Books are like comfort food to me. Perhaps not as flavorful, but just as nourishing. <laughs> I don't think my cat is convinced. What do you think is the best way to introduce pets? Well... I don't know, I kinda, it depends, because it feels like there's so many books and stuff that is, like, misinforming, is missing, misinformation, I can't even speak, um, so I don't know, gotta think a bit on this one, because in my case, since I have read up on, like, the correct facts and everything, what is the safest, and I've talked to a lot of people in animal groups and all that, um, because I've trained both my cats with my with my boyfriend's mom's dog because I want them to not be afraid of dogs, like overly afraid. They are, they are supposed to be cautious, but not overly afraid. Um, 
So in this case, if it would be me, I would trust my instincts. But MC, I don't know. Uh, in her case, she's gonna trust the books for now. She hasn't completely learned everything. <sighs> or is she gonna do that? Hmm. No, I'm gonna trust my instincts, actually. I'm gonna go with the way I'm thinking. I say we trust my instincts. I've spent some time with Fang. And I know Mirabelle is a brave cat. Like cat, like owner, if that's not a saying it should be. So I say we just walk Mirabelle and Fang up to one another and see how it goes. Okay, that is not what I would pick. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, Should I explain how I would do it? But that in case of, like, in the real world, I would put up a fence thing in a doorway and have the cat on one one side of the, the fence and the dog on the other. And they will see each other and smell each other. And when the cat is, like, outside, I will let the dog come in and sniff about the place where the cat has been. And when, <laughs> when my cat comes in, I will maybe like go for a walk with the dog so the cat can smell his smell because the smell is so important and also just not direct uh, just meeting each other directly right away the smelling and all that that is setting up for success so if you're gonna introduce your pets to a, one another even if it's a cat to a cat or a dog to a dog or a cat to a dog anything like that do the way i just said because that is uh, putting your pets up for a successful uh, living together possibly friendship so yeah <laughs> i don't agree with mc here hmm. i reserve the right to take a peek at my books to make sure you're on the right track yeah. you better do rowan <laughs> understood all right let the, the pet introduction begin no, he's, he's... Oh no, Mirabelle. The introduction didn't go so well. Poor Fang. And Hagrid has his heart set on Fang making friends at a, at a gathering of pets, including cats. I'm sorry that my books and I weren't of much help to me. I thought I knew a lot about pets. You did help, Rowan. You just gave me an idea. Perhaps I don't need someone who knows a lot about pets to cure Fang's fear. Perhaps I need someone who knows a lot about fear. Oh. And here he comes, like order. What do you need to know about fear? How to cure Fang's fear? Any ideas? Mm. You're asking the wrong coward. I can't cure my own fear, much less adults. But you must at least know something I can try. Mm. It's always the obvious. Calming draught. Yeah, you could do that. Like, help with the use medication. But that is in extreme cases. Of course I will meet you in the Great Hall for lunch, but it's not time for lunch yet, just yet. Well, well. I think Mirilla likes your cat. You think? The pump? You got a pump? I don't like your cat. Well, that other person, what, who was it even? Was it Rowan who thought that? Come on now. I wish I had a cat. I name it Jack. <laughs> Jack, what a name. Hi, Timberly. I see Mirabelle will be joining us for lunch today. Yes, you know Mirabelle. Never passes up a chance to steal a piece of lunch meat. So what did you want to meet with me about? Brewing a calming drink Today. Right now, actually. But you... But you do know how to brew it. You could brew calming drink for me. Uh, that was a weird sentence. <laughs> okay, let's convince her. She can't be caught at the class. Oh, he's laying on the table. She is laying, laying on the table. Ah, and purring. How cute. Okay, we convinced her. All right, I will do it. I will brew calming draught for you. Well, how nice of you, Penny. Very nice of you. Thank you, Penny. And Mirabelle, thanks you too. Huh? Why would you cat thank me for agreeing to brew calming draught? Mirabelle is an unusual polite cat. <laughs> I will leave you and your unusual polite cat so that he I can go and get my cauldron and potion ingredients. Brilliant, then let's meet in the artifact room and get brewing. Awesome. Alright, I think we've got everything we need to brew common draught. 
Thank you for doing this, Penny. I know it took some convincing. Well, I don't want this to get caught, but I'm actually excited. Anytime I get a chance to tinker with more advanced potions. Good, because I definitely couldn't brew this potion as well without you. Mm -hmm. I bet you could, Timely. You must at least know what ingredients are in common draught. Oh, I do not. Um, but I'm gonna guess on Moondew, Lavender and Tubeworm. No, it's actually lavender, crocodile heart, and peppermint. God. Okay. I only got one ingredient right. I'm glad you're the one brewing this potion, Penny. <laughs> now let's get start. Uh, let's get started brewing this common draw. Thanks again for brewing this common draw, Penny. Oh, did we spill some in the background? If this doesn't, if this doesn't soothe Fang's fears, I don't know what will. <laughs> Fang? Hagrid's puppy Fang? Yes. How many Fangs do you know? <laughs> You didn't tell me you wanted to give common draw to a dog, Chimley. Can't you give common draw to a dog? I suppose you can, but I wouldn't want to experiment on Fang. I don't know how, how our pets would react to common draw. Hey, speaking of pets, where did your cat go? Oh. Mirabelle, Mirabelle. Oh no, look. Oh, god damn it. Mirabelle must have lapped up some of the spilled calming draught. Oh, it is out cold. I should have known Mirabelle was bound to get into mischief. What do we do? I will rush Mirabelle to the hospital wing. Find Ben and Fang. I will meet them there. I hope she's okay. No, oh, look how cute they are. Thanks for meeting us here, Ben. I'm really worried about Mirabelle. <laughs> You say your cat drank some common draught? Do you know how much? I have no idea how much, but enough to be far more than calm. Mirabelle won't wake up. How does one usually wake up a sleeping cat? Usually just tapping Mirabelle will do the trick. And nothing I try is working right now, so I hope Madame Puffy can help. Oh. Fang looks just as scared of a sleeping cat as he does of one who is awake. Oh. What is going on here? This is not a veterinary hospital. Out, out, before your animals disturb my patients. Is it any patients here? There's no one here right now, Madame Poverty. Mm -hmm. With the curses plaguing Hogwarts these days, at any moment I could have a full house. You two especially have found yourselves here far too often, either as a patient or visitor. Huh? But we aren't here about the curse. Please, Madame Poverty, I need your help. My cat drank calming draught and now Mirabelle is asleep and won't wake oh. up. You gave calming draught to a cat? No, it was an accident. I didn't spill I didn't spill the common draught as my cat drank. I didn't even brew it. I've been taking good care of my cats. It's Mirabelle who needs to be more responsible. Uh -huh. Timula had the best of intention, Madame Pomfrey. Oh. Tell that to this cat, Mr. Copper. Now let's have a look at Mirabelle while you tell me exactly what happened. I don't know. I thought the, the other option would make more sense to pick, but I don't know. Come on, Mirabelle, mm -hmm. wake up. It would appear that your cat is not in crisis. You're sleeping very soundly. Oh, thank you, Madame Pomfrey. But I'm used to treating people, not pets, so I suggest you still consult a cat expert. Mm -hmm. Now, what is plaguing this dog? He's practically trembling. Bang, he's not sick. He's, he is yet scared of Mirabelle and of cats in general. Mm -hmm. I have to insist now that you take your scared dog and sleepy cat out of my hospital wing. I need a broom to sweep up the pet here. So now you have to cure Fang's fear and consult a cat expert about sleeping Mirabelle. Hmm, a cat expert who might also help with Fang's fear of cats? Belch. I think I know who, who may be able to help. Who would be a better cat expert than someone who has experience as a cat herself? <gasps> oh, Professor McGonagall. Brilliant idea, Timberley. Thanks for your help, Ben. I will take Fang and Mirabelle to the Transfiguration classroom. I thought Filch, but like, he wouldn't help us, actually. Oh. After your class? Is your class four hours long? <laughs> Jesus Christ. McGonagall. Her four hour long class is finally over. What is this? Bringing a cat and a dog into my classroom? Is that Hagrid's puppy? Yes, it's Fang, and this is my cat Mirabelle, who drank some calming draught. Mm. 
I see. Madame Poppery thinks Mirabelle will be okay, but I thought I should talk to someone who... Mm. Someone who has the animagus form of a cat? Yes, I need an expert. Mm. And how exactly did you come to have a corb in George? Uh, wouldn't it be more responsible of us to focus on the well-being of my cat? Mm. Had you been focused on the well-being of your cat, Miss Iron Claw, we wouldn't be here now, would we? I suppose we wouldn't, Professor McGonagall. Mm. Well, it will please you to know that your cat will be just fine upon eventually awakening. Mm. You don't need to have spent time as a cat to know mm. it. You do have to have had more experience with Coming Draught. I understand, Professor McGonagall. I thank goodness Mirabelle will be okay. I've been so worried. Mm. It would appear Fang is fairly worried about your cat too. Now Fang is actually scared of Mirabelle and, and of all cats, thanks to Mrs. Norris. Hagrid suggested that Fang spending a day with a cat might help, but it didn't work. I suppose that's because Mirabelle was asleep for most of the time you were to be helping Fang. So you're saying spending time with a cat could truly help Fang with his fear? An experienced cat, yes. Please. Would you help me, Professor McGonagall? I don't want to let down Hagrid or Fang. Let's see what I can do. <laughs> this is so interesting. What the egg? Oh, look at him. Ah, so cute. Come on, Fang. There's no worries. You see? Professor McGonagall, whatever you did, I think it worked. Yes, I can confirm for you that Fang's fear of cats, at least, has been alleviated through my expert intervention. I have decades more experience than your cat in that regard. And look who's away. Oh. Mirabelle, you're alright. Thank you, Professor McGonagall, for your help with Mirabelle and Fang. It was very wise of you to bring the pets to me. Wise enough for me to do some housewives. Mm. Not in light of your experimentation with Coleman George. You're welcome to bring Mirabelle by for a warm bowl of milk at any time. Ah. You're welcome to a warm bowl of milk too, Fang. <laughs> but Professor McGonagall, Fang is a very important pet gathering to get to in a bit. And he's still a generally timid dog. How can I be sure Fang will be okay around other cats when we leave here? Mm. I suppose the best way to test Fang's resolve would be to go and confront Mrs. Norris herself. And I suppose that's what we should do right now. <laughs> he's a bit unsure about that. Suggestion. Are you spreading rumors about Mrs. Norris? She and I will be looking for you. Oh no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, not filled. It's time to face uh, Fang's fear, and Mirabelle is here for emotional support, I would say. <laughs> so you're the one who's been spreading rumors about Mrs. Norris stealing bones. I'm not spreading rumors, Mrs. Norris did steal a bone from Hagrid's puppy, and he stuck him too. And there she goes again. See, just like that. It's all my... It's all my cat and I could do to help Fang get over the fear of cats that Mrs. Norris caused him. And we had to do it today before the pet gathering. Oh. Pet gathering? What's this pet gathering all about? You and Mrs. Norris are welcome to come if Mrs. Norris can behave herself. <laughs> it's a social gathering for pets organized by Hagrid. His puppy Fang is the guest of honor. Oh. We will think about oh. it. For the record, Miss Stories can get along brilliantly with anyone. We're about to put that to the test. It's time to face your fears, Fang. Fang's doing well, but now my cat looks scared of your cat. Yeah. Fang and your cat are the problem, not my Mrs. Norris. But you don't understand, Mr. Filth. My cat needs to go to the patch carrying too. Hel helping Fang made me realize I haven't helped Mirabelle as well as I could with socializing. Oh my god, you look so scared. Bang, you did it. You're more than cured of your fear of cats. You were just brave for a moment there. Yeah, you was. <laughs> I think Mirabel is right. Thank you too, Fang. Right. Now, now I have heard enough. Why is everyone picking on Mrs. Norris? She's delightful. 
who get Mrs. Snore is Fang. Mirabelle and I have a pet gathering to get to at the training grounds. Woof woof. The, is Mrs. Norris scared now? Or is she <laughs> mad? I can't see from me. Okay. It's in five hours. It's time for the gathering. I'm rounding up the guests for the pet gathering. I'll be ready for your fang and your cat soon. Okie dokie. It's finally time for the pet gathering. How lovely. What? I like some animals. Fang's cure. Fang's cured. Will you want to play fetch with me? Buscla would love this party. Is that the name of your pet? Oh, look at the kitties. He's sitting there. So adorable. So many kitties. Oh no, they are fighting. Hagrid, you have turned the training grounds into a pet party? Nah, just humble gathering to help me put help me pop make some friends at Hogwarts. I couldn't have done it without you, Chimbele. You see all the cats eh? <laughs> you know I'd do anything to help you, Hagrid, and Fang is braver than anyone gives him credit for. He really isn't. But it's nice to uh, nice of you to say so. You at least cured Fang of his fear of cats. Professor McGonagall had a lot to do with it, and Mirabelle, of course. Everyone's waiting to get to know your cat better. Let's join the others. Oh, look at that adorable little owl. What is everyone doing? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, kitty. Without anyone, like, leading you. That's very impressive, actually. Very impressive. Oh, look. So cute. How do you just looking at the stick there? Rowan is like teaching teaching a pet class. <laughs> I will have the plan more gatherings for Hogwarts pets. All of them seem to be having fun, especially Fang. <laughs> See, it's so cute. Mirabelle and I will be happy to join you anytime. You will have to join us. Mirabelle is Fang's new favorite friend. I'm glad my cat is making friends at Hogwarts, just like I've been doing. So this is a pet gathering. It just looks like a bunch of pe pets loitering on the grounds. Oh, but treats and balloons. Took me all day to set it up for you. Ah, oh, come on. Now mind your manners, Mrs. Norris. We don't get invited to many parties. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, thanks for having us, Miss Ironclaw. Of course, perhaps Mrs. Norris and Mirabelle will even become friends too. <laughs> question mark, question mark. Or perhaps we, we all just get back to enjoying the gathering. Yes, perhaps that's the, what we should do. I guess we know what Mirabelle wants to do. I never knew my cat was such a party animal. You're quite a team. I look forward to the two of you roaming the halls of Hogwarts together for a long time to come. Helping others is its own reward. Well, there it is. The scaredy cast is complete. Ah, <sighs> I think I did some similar like quests back in the day when I was trying to record my Hogwarts journey, uh, but it, the quest was so different. I think, um, yeah. So this was really interesting. And very cute to see all the different animals and you guys get introduced to my cat, Mirabelle. So that's all for today. I hope you really enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to see more content from me, I suggest to subscribe. And I hope we see each other for my next video. Bye guys.